Good day, everyone. We are Group 1 and we are here to discuss the most diverse group of algae, which is Chlorophyta, or more commonly known as the green algae. Chlorophyta includes unicellular, multicellular, uh, colonial, and cynocytic green algae. Most of the members of Chlorophyta are autotrophs. However, some heterotrophic species are known, such as uh, Polytoma and Prototheca. The parade of taxa includes two classes, the class Caryophyceae and class Prasinophyceae. For the first class, class Caryophyceae, the first species is Caragobularis under order Carales and family Caraceae. It is an aquatic submerged macroalgae that has a distinctive sulfur or musky smell and can be lime encrusted in some water bodies. Its plant is a tall monoecious plant with slender shoots and a gray-green color. Its branches are not forked, and both branches and stems are mostly covered by secondary cell layer called cortication, making them more resistant to physical damage. The small accessory cells at junctions between branchlet cells are either not obvious or longer around the fruiting bodies. The stems are anchored in the sediment by colorless rhizoids. For the next species, the Lamprothamium papillosum, under order Carales and family Caraceae. This species has slender stems up to 40 cm in height that are anchored in the sediment by rhizoids. Its main stem gives rise to the whorls of simple branchlets, and the stem of each branchlet bears whorls of slender spines at regular intervals. Then, the rows of branchlets become closer together at the top of the stems to give a bushy, foxtail appearance. Uh, these species can be found in fairly still brackish, nutrient-poor water on sand, gravel, small pebbles, as well as silty substrata. Next species is the Nutolopsis obtusa, under order Carales and family Caraceae. This species has long, variable length relatively straight branches arranged in rows that attach at acute angles to stem nodes. Most stem and branch cells are, are around 1 mm in diameter, while stems can reach up to 80 cm long. It has a light green color when actively growing, and its rhizoids are star-shaped, as well as, as you can see in the picture on the right. The plant is dioecious and can form gyrogonites which are calcified spiral-shaped fructifications, and its femaloogonia with bracts on either side form of the upper nodes of branchlets. Also, the orange to red oocytes can occur at the nodes of branches. Next, we have Lignotamnus barbatus from the family of Karasi. Lignotamnus barbatus possesses diagnostic morphological characteristics distinguishing it from those of the Cara and Lamprotamnia. It has distinct terminal branchlets that have short distal nodes with long bracteoles, resulting in a tufted appearance. The main axial cells have cortication that are often incomplete or rudimentary, with a variable number of spine cells. Branchlets are subtended by a single tier of stipuloids, two per branchlet and variable in length. The central oogonium is flanked by two lateral antheridia, each originating from a separate branchlet node cell. The oospores have a distinctive lime shell. It is considered rare or endangered and in decline throughout scattered range in Europe, Asia, and Australia. Another algal species from the family of Karasi is Nitella hyalina. Nitella hyalina is a macroscopic green alga, a stonework. It is monoecious, erect, but relatively short, up to 30 centimeters, stonework. Plants are dark or brownish green and is usually unencrusted. Axes are moderately slender, up to 0.7 mm in diameter. Internodes are 2 to 4 times as long as branchlets. Branchlets usually are 8 heteroclemus with the primary whorl and accessory whorls of branchlets. The dactyls are 2 celled and the gametangia conjoined at the primary branchlets. Oogonium and antheridium are solitary, up to 0.4 mm in diameter. Nitella hyalina has a cosmopolitan distribution but it is rare and local almost everywhere in the world. It is one of the rarest stonework species in Europe. It usually prefers open sunny edges of lakes, pools, 
seashores, sheltered openings in reed stands with calcareous mud and can withstand some dehydration when water levels drop in the summer. Up next, we have Colucate or Biscularis from the family of Colucatasii. The Colucate or Biscularis is discoidal and pseudoparenchymatous. Its vegetative tissue is a single layer of cells. Cells are box-like and hair cells are with hairs that are dorsal and medial. Chloroplasts are dorsal and parietal except in hair cells and are typically with a single conspicuous spironoid. Zoospores are produced from seemingly undifferentiated cells and are released by a circular pore on the dorsal surface of the zoosporangium. They are monoecious with two to four chambered antheridia forming proximally to the oogonia. Zygotes, when present, are corticated and have placental transfer cell wall ingrowths with a single chloroplast. Zygote germination occurs in early spring in temperate areas and is preceded by chloroplast division and meiosis and results in the formation of 8 to 16 myospores or zygote in distinctive myospore chambers. The initial germling has a single hair cell above and a vegetative cell below that gives rise to the rest of the talus. Here we have the spiral gyrus species. They belong to the phylum Carophyta, class Conjugatophyceae, order Zygnematales, family Zygnemataceae, and in the genus Spirogyra. Spirogyra species are edible freshwater algae with slimy, filamentous, and unbranched morphology. They contain spiral chloroplasts and they reproduce sexually or asexually. In terms of asexual reproduction, a filament may fragment into smaller pieces, then they will form new cells. On the other hand, the sexual reproduction method will show that two cells will form conjugation tubes that will allow the exchange of genetic material. Spirogyra species are a source of natural bioactive compounds for antibiotic, antiviral, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and cytotoxic purposes. Next is Zygogonium ericitorum. They belong in the same phylum, class, order, and family with the Spirogyra species. They differ in the genus classification because they belong to the genus Zygogonium. Zygogonium ericitorum are freshwater algae with a filamentous morphology. They occur in extreme habitats like water bodies containing high contents of heavy metals, and they have macroscopic mat-like sheets, and they undergo self-shading to protect cells in lower layers from high UV irradiation. They have two morphotypes, which are the green and the purple. The purple morph type contains abundant purple pigmentation stored in the vacuoles. And according to the study of Einer et al. in 2013, the purple morph contained a larger amount of phenolic compounds due to increased exposure to irradiation. Now we have the Mesotanium macrococcum, which belongs to the same phylum, class, and order with the Zygogonium ericetorum. Mesotanium macrococcum belong to the family Mesotaniaceae and in the genus Mesotanium. They have short cyl cylindric cells with rounded ends which contain plate-like chloroplasts. They can be found at places with high humidity and light intensity. And they are locally common in acidic habitats. Their cells are embedded in mucilaginous masses that may be stratified. And in subaerial habitats, cells occur in irregular groups of 40, 48 to 64 or more. The genus Cylindrocystis belongs to the family Mesotaniaceae. They are unicellular algae with two stellate chloroplasts next to each other with short axis and laminate structure. The chloroplasts have one to two pyrenoids marked by the radiating ribbons from the center of the cell. In C. gracilis, the chloroplast ridges are parallel to the longitudinal direction. The cells are cylindrical to ellipsoidal with round ends, and the sexual reproduction takes place by conjugation. The zygospores are spherical to rectangular in shape, and they are commonly found in wet soils. These organisms are used to indicate low levels of magnesium and calcium in water, and thus they are indicative of unpolluted water. They can also exist in acidic conditions 
And lastly, they are parasitized by endodesmidine chromosome and are preyed upon by leptophyrus thorax. Next, the genus Klebsormedium belongs to the family Klebsormediaceae. There are filamentous algae that usually consist of multicellular and non-branching filaments without differentiated or specialized cells. These organisms are essential components of soil crusts, and they do not have hold fast. Their chloroplast are plate-like or ribbon-like, and their sexual reproduction is isogamy by bioflagellate gametes, similar to species of Eulotrix. Each cell contains a single parietal chloroplast, and there are no plasmodesmata between cells. The cells are cylindrical, with no gelatinous sheet and rhizoid. The zoospores are naked and orioles through a pore in the wall. A planospores and akinetes are also produced. Lastly, they are poikilohydric, which means they are unable to actively regulate cellular water content, which may lead to dehydration upon desiccation. Next, Polypelia intricata belongs to the family Carassi. They are also known as tassel stoneworth and are mainly distributed in North America, Mediterranean, Scandinavia, and Europe. They are branching underwater plants and their branchlets are sharply tipped. Their stems are smooth and they are commonly found in shallow water. They use their rhizoids for anchorage and for absorption of nutrients. Usually, they grow in dense clumps along with other plants. Their sexual reproduction is through oospores and their reproduction is stimulated by light and temperature. Let's now move to class for Cenophyceae where we have five orders, namely Chlorodendralis, Halospheralis, Mammalialis, Racinococcalis, and Pyramimonodalis. Next is Osteococcus tori, Kingdom Plantae, Subkingdom Viridiplantae, Phylum Chlorophyta, Class Racinophyceae, Order Mammalialis, Family Mammaliophyceae, Genus Osteococcus, and Species tori. It is the smallest free-living eukaryote, nearly one micron cell, considered as pyco-eukaryote in an early diverging class within the green plant lineage. It is unicellular, naked, light polyvalent, non flagellated cell possessing a single mitochondrion and chloroplast. It is an excellent model organism due to its small size and ease in culturing. It is found in coastal to oligotrophic waters, confer rapid growth rates, and contributes significantly to marine primary production, rendering it susceptible to potential grazer. Next is Pyramimonas virginica, Empire Eukaryota, Kingdom Plantae, Subkingdom Viridi Plantae, Infrakingdom Chlorophyta, Infrakingdom, Phylum Chlorophyta, Class Prasinophyceae, Order Pyramimonadales, Family Pyramimonadaceae, Genus Pyramimonas, and Species virginica. These organisms are unicellular and symmetrical green flagellates and a member of ultraplankton, which size is less than 5 micrometers. They possess eye spot, one large chloroplast, Golgi body, microbody, mitochondria, nucleus, pyrenoid, and starch grain. However, the rhizoplast is absent. They possess two to four flagella connected by a cynistosome, a microtubular root, and the microbody beneath the nucleus. The flagellar transition region possesses a two-ring structure, and these organisms thrive in marine environment. Next is Pyramimonas caridicola, Empire Eukaryota, Kingdom Plantae, Subkingdom Verde Plantae, Infrakingdom Chlorophyta, Infrakingdom, Phylum Chlorophyta, Class Prasinophyceae, Order Pyramimonadales, Family Pyramimonadaceae, Genus Pyramimonas, and Species caridicola. These organisms are metale and produce thick walled spherical cysts. They are usually four flagellated and contain one large chloroplast and a large pyrenoid. The Golgi cisternae occur at the vicinity of the flagellar base. They possess crown and box scales on the body and limulus scales on the flagella. They also contain starch grain. They possess vegetative cells that contain non uniform scales. And the scale subsist render a horn-like elongation on each of the four corners and taper from their base to the tip, which was either blunt or terminated. They are found in lakes and in sediments. Next is the Osteococcus lucimarinus from the order Mammalialis and family Bethicocaceae. Osteococcus lucimarinus is a related species to Osteococcus tori, which can provide insights to potential evolutionary mechanisms. 
This species is a single-celled alga that lacks a flagellum but contains a single chloroplast and a mitochondrion. Their ability to produce selenoproteins can aid cells to manufacture fewer enzymes and save molecular resources, but still achieve the same physiological effects and use the amino acids efficiently. They're also adapted to highlight intensities and correspond to surface isolated strains. Next is the monomastix opistostigma from the order Mammalialis and family Monomastigaceae. Monomastix opistostigma are freshwater algae that can range from 7 up to more than 20 micrometers in length. Their cell body is slightly asymmetrical and are nearly cylindrical in shape with rounded ends. Note that the cell body is covered by a layer of submicroscopic scales, and at the interior end appears a horizontal depression where a flagellum is attached. Lastly, there is a presence of a deeply incised chloroplast that forms two lateral lobes, each containing a pyrogram. Next is Tetracell mischui from the order Chlorodendralis and family Chlorodendraceae. Tetracell mischui are unicellular marine algae that can range from 12 to 14 micrometers long and 9 to 10 micrometers wide. These are ovoid in shape and they possess four green flagella near the apex. This can serve as a good source of biological compounds and recent studies have shown that it can also be used economically as a dough enhancer in gluten-free bread, as it increases bread volume and the total phenolic content and antioxidant capacity of the bread. And then we have Tetracell Miss Vesica from the class Persinophyceae, order Chlorodendralis, family Chlorodendraceae. This species is a green unicell that has flagella in opposite pairs. It is oval but somewhat flattened and it is 10 to 15 micrometers long. The individual cells have a single and rarely two lobate chloroplast containing pyranoid. It is usually green but can accumulate hematochrome, probably in bright sunlight turns more red. It is found in both marine and freshwater ecosystems, usually in the photic zone of the water column, and it is widely distributed in Sweden, Baltic Sea, Germany, Portugal, Scandinavia, and in East China Sea and Japan. Next is Prasinococcus capsulatus from class Prasinophyceae, order Prasinococcales, and family Prasinococcaceae. Prasinococcus capsulatus has a large capsule composed of exopolysaccharide called capsulin. It is unicellular or circular in shape, and its mode of reproduction is asexual or binary fission. It is widely distributed in Western Pacific and West Atlantic Ocean. Lastly, we have Halosphera minor from class Persinophyceae, order Pyramimonadales, and family Pyramimonadaceae. Halosphera minor has two cell types. First is the small planktonic flagellate, and next is the large planktonic cyst or phycoma. The flagellate cells are typically 20 to 30 micrometers long. So the first type is the four lobe pyramid, fragile cells. Four flagella emerge from a pit in the center of the pyramid base and has a large chloroplast. The next is phycomata. It is spherical and maybe a millimeter or more in diameter and have a thick cell wall and one layer of which contains sporopollenin. Motils have three scale types on the flagella, including hair scales, pentagonal underlayer scales, and limuloid scales. There are also three types of body scales, a small underlayer scales with crochet ridges, a larger type either rectangular or circular with depressed centers, or a flat lace-like plates of similar dimensions. It is widely distributed in Baltic Sea and Scandinavia. So I think that's it for our report. Thank you very much for listening and we hope that we give nice insights about chlorophyta, specifically class Carophyceae and Brasinophyceae. Have a great day ahead.